This is Lawrence Abrams from Bleeping Computer, and today we're going to take a look at a sneaky minor Trojan. Uh, normally when minor Trojans run, they use up all the CPU on the computer nonstop. Uh, this one works a little differently. It will monitor for certain processes on the computer, and when it detects them running, it terminates the miner. Then, uh, when those processes are turned off, it loads the miner back up again. And the reason why it does this is it because it doesn't want to make it noticeable that there is something using up all the CPU on the computer. So the processes that it monitors are process management utilities such as Task Manager, Procmon, uh, Process Explorer, Process Hacker, and games, popular games such as PUBG, uh, Dota, um, Counter-Strike, and uh, Rainbow Six. And when it detects these processes running, it automatically terminates the, uh, the miner. And the reason why it's targeting games is because miners using up all the CPU on the computer and then you run a game, those games are gonna have horrible frame rates, gonna be slow, responsive is, um, the responsiveness is gonna be horrible. So uh, the developer thought smartly that let's make it so that the miner doesn't run during these games and then turn it back on afterwards. So the way the miner works, um, it's installed by adware bundles. These adware bundles are uh, masquerading as cracks, um, free downloads, whatever the case may be. When you install the adware bundle, it uh, creates a file called uh, cprogramdata.iostream.exe. This program is launched by a scheduled task called Windows Recovery Cleaner. And this task runs every day at 12 a.m., and it also repeats itself every minute after it's been launched. And when it runs, it launches the IOStream program. Now, what IOStream does is it injects itself into the legitimate attrib.exe program. And um, normally when you run a trib, you're changing file permissions on a, on a particular file, and it, it runs and it, and it closes. With the miner being injected into it, it stays open um, forever until a process that it monitors is detected. And so to illustrate this, I took Process Explorer and I renamed it to iExplore so that it's uh, not a monitored process name. So if we open it, you will see that a trib is running here using 87%, 97% and so forth. Now, the minute I run the normal task manager, has been renamed just standard task manager. It goes away. It, it terminates. Okay. Now, if we close task manager and wait long enough, a trip will be launched automatically again. And um, this allows the miner to stay resident um, and always running once that uh, monitored application is launched. So it's pretty sneaky. It's pretty smart. Uh, makes it harder for people to detect that there is a miner running on their computer because the minute you run a process management utility, everything is shut down. The minute you run a game that would cause possible issues with the, with high CPU use, it shuts it down. And then when those are turned, when those processes are no longer running, it turns it back on. So not only does it make it so it's not detectable by games, but it also makes it so it's harder to detect using process management utilities. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to us and we'll see you in the future.